Uh, before I go to the hyperledger, which is a permission blockchain, just we'll try to see some hands on on that category. Now I request all the participants to open the uh, open the terminal. Participants, open the terminal. You can see right now type in the Google type in the Google public and a private key you can see and runs you can give and and rest. public key and private key generation in blockchain Everyone is doing, everyone is doing to, shall I send it to you? Then you can see andronsbrownworth.com. You click on that. You click on that. I'll send a link to you. I'll send the link to you. Okay. It's okay. Everyone is doing. Everyone is doing. Yeah. Then once you know, then you try to click on the keys or the corner or the corner. You can see the keys. You click on the keys. You click on the case, there is a relationship between the private key and public key. The relationship is there between the public key and private key. If you start doing, its key is getting changed. You can verify it. Or you can see random. Whenever a key is there, that's a, use, that's a concept which is being used. You can see. You got it? Everyone got it? So do we need to sign in? No, no, not required, not required. Because it is showing the private key, but the, uh, the other key is not showing. Public key, public key. You, you can see in the now corner there is a keys. First one. Uh, I'm going to the link that you have shared. Uh, you click I on go, that. Yes, sir. So uh, yeah. it is. Hmm. You, you will get the screen. You got the screen. Yeah, but it is having some um, uh, video. Is there? Yeah, don't go for video. You go for a corner. You can see screen now. There is a keys corner, right corner, right corner. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You yes. click on the keys. Yes, I got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Now you can see that we, we just now we have seen no how use public key and private keys are there. Public key and private keys. You will see random, the, key, the relationship is there between the public key and private keys. You can see it. You got it? Yes, sir. Now, go to the next step, call signatures. Go to the next step, call signatures. Now, what we'll do, I'll type a message called hello, and I'll, I'll sign with my private key. I, I'll say, I'll sign with the private key. We'll sign it. You got the message signature. You got the message signature. Everyone is doing? Everyone is doing? Jyoti Madam, what is the problem? You can unmute it and you can tell me. So again, it is saying to sign. I don't know why it is giving me that. No, you do not ask any sign. No, why it is giving sign to you? Uh, because when I typed in the message uh, box, hello. So I then. 
you type sign click on sign click on blue 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 button yes and now it is showing message sign yes message signature yes sir my signature right jyoti madam what is your doubt you told no yeah message signature it is i got it sir i got it. right madam thank you right now next up uh, then uh, the next one after sign you there is a verify is there there is a verify is there right now i'm going to verify just i'm going to change hello just i'll add one more zero one more o i modified the text because hash value will be there no i modified the text now what i'll do the verify is there means it will get uh, some uh, uh, rose color means verification is failed it means that it means that the verification is failed everyone got it and when we again remove o everyone got it <laughs> then you try to have the same text and then you verify you will get a green green color yes sir red color in this is yes it got red color means verification failed means someone has modified the data sandeep sir what is there? any doubt is there from your side Sandeep sir, yeah, yes sir. Is it my voice is audible? Yeah, is there? Is there? Please go ahead. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, I have started recording. Okay, yeah, thank you. So, my dear students, today we will be working with the um, affinance cipher. Let me share this slide once for you. Oh, he's taking class or what? <laughs> Sorry for the disturbance, sir. He might have joined, uh, thinking joining in joining in another class. Uh, you can continue, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the problem with online. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone got it, I think. Now, next, go to transactions. Now. Now, everyone, go to the transaction. Now I'm going to use something like ten message, a public key of the sender and a public key of the receiver. Public key of the sender, public key of the receiver, and I'm going to sign. That's why I told you, you know, if you see blockchain definition, I'm going to sign the transaction. Anyone can verify with the public key. Now I'm going to sign the transaction and click it. I'll get a message signature. Anyone can verify with my public key. Anyone can verify with my public key. Anyone can verify with my public key. Got it? Yes, sir. Madam, shall I repeat the same step? Uh, no, yes, sir. sir. Something. Uh, sir, please, sir, repeat, sir. Join late, actually. Oh. Then we have a sign. Yeah. Then we, yes. have a, we have the message. This is the public key of the sender, and this is the public key of the receiver. And then I'm going to sign with the private, with my private key. And then when I click signature, the signature is created. We have seen the practical. All the hands-on we have used. I am not, not getting this message, sir. Message. Signature. Message. Signature. So click on sign, sir. After that one. Yes. Click on that sign. Click on the sign. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now yes. Signature. Now uh, I receive the message. Signature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have created signature. Then yeah, yeah. click on the next side called verify. Okay. Then uh, just I am changing uh, from hundred ten to nine now. I modified the data. Oh, it is not possible. Whether if you click it, the verification, the verification is getting failed. Okay. If you get a red color or a rose color, mm -hmm. it's failed. Or you can see means a transaction will be sent from source to destination. Then you will get a green color. Everyone got it? Yes, sir. Anyone is there who is not who is not getting up to now? Good. 
Then shall I go to the next chair? Right, next one is the blockchain. Now you just see the blockchain now here. It's a peer-to-peer -peer network. Now this is a peer A, this is a peer B, and this is a peer C. Every peer, every peer will maintain a block. Every peer will maintain a block. Peer A will maintain this block. A block is nothing but set of transaction. This is tra the block one, block two, block three, block four, right? And similarly, peer A, B is also maintaining his block. Peer C is also maintaining his block. And this block is, is initially it is same. It is same, right? Now you see here the hash of the, for the as already told you in the previous session that every hash value will start with four zeros. Yes or no? Everyone is following me. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, yes. every, this hash and you see this hash, this hash and this hash is same or this is different? It is same or different? So it is this one and this one. So, uh, previous same, sir. same, 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 same. That means we are linking a block. We are linking a block. Yes, sir. Yes, are sir. Block. These are the set of transactions. The transaction one, transaction two, transaction three, transaction four. Someone is going to create a block. Now, for this, we have created a Merkle tree, and the Merkle tree hash value is there. And this hash value, the hash value of this block and the hash value of this block is same. You check it out. Yes or no? Then the hash of this value and the hash of this value is same. Yes, sir. And the hash value of this one and hash value is the same. Like this, we are creating a blockchain. A block is nothing but sort of transaction. Uh, every block is created with the hash value and it is linked with the next, uh, next block. Got it? Yes, sir. Right. Now what we'll do is now what we'll do is now what we'll do is now I am going to change something here. Now you see what is the nonce? We got it. Anyone everyone is seeing what is the nonce? One six double one nine. Right. Yes. Now what I'm doing here, I'm changing something. All the values are changed. Total block is changed. You got a rose color. You got it? Yes, sir. Now, yes, you sir. see the hash value is changed? Yes, sir. Hash value is changed? Now, yes, what sir. It means if you are, uh, you, you, now, what is that mine? Now, yesterday, Madam has asked the question about mining now. Now, we need to find a target value because even is a uh, nonce value is also changed now. Because nonce value, we need to find a nonce value, which is a, we call it a difficult target value, whose hash value should start with four zeros. So for that, everyone should accept it. Now I start mining now. It will consume a lot of internet stuff now. It will mine it. Now you got green color. Yes or no? Yes, sir. One, now you see nonce is changed now. Whose nonce value which starts with four zeros? Now this fellow is not changed. Now everyone, this one also, this, mine, this one also should be mined. Mind, you got it? And then this one, too, everything should be mined. Now everyone, everyone should mine it. Every block should be getting mined. So which is uh, very difficult to hack the system. Got it? I think your net, uh, your, uh, it will consume a lot of your net actually. Maybe you, you if you are using mobile, uh, your net will be consumed a lot because it will start mining mathematically, isn't it? Your net is going to happen. Even sometimes your system will get slowed down. Now you see? Now if you see peer A is updated its blockchain, now peer B should be there. Peer B is same. Peer B is using its own. Now again we need to change the peer B also. Peer C also need to be changed. So we cannot convince all the members to getting changed. You're not getting pink color. You're, you're not changing something. You change something, madam. You change something. Where? Okay, you're not following anything. You change something here, here, here. Sir, 
Okay. Here in Coinbase, in transaction you need to change. Yes. And this is a public key. This is a public key. From which public key to which public key? So this is a signature. Yes, sir. You got it. How the blockchain is working now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. You have any doubts? Please let me know. Sir, please repeat it again. Why we need to mine it, sir? See, the, now, now it varies from application to application. The question comes to you. Suppose, for example, now uh, uh, you, we are we are not we are not using uh, any Bitcoin here because we are not interested with Bitcoin and Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Now, for example, uh, for for example, if you are not in our, in our organization. I think uh, if you are having uh, some deemed university or a private college, you got one rule. Principal sir has passed one rule to you, for example. Now, that rule to be followed and uh, that rule has been given to the HODs who are called as validators. And HOD has given the information to the faculty. Now, faculty has got updated in their database. Now, what is happening now? Now, principal want to change that rule. Now, actually, what is happening in the current scenario is uh, if the principal tech can take any type of decision because he's a monopoly in a centralized system. Whenever you want to change, you will change and everyone will follow it. Now, the transparency is lagging there. Because now everyone should accept it. Not only the H word is, everyone should accept it in their, uh, to mine it. If, because that rule, it is already there in that. If you want to modify it, that rule, everyone should accept it. Otherwise, no one will accept it. Otherwise, uh, that, 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 that block cannot be considered. In such cases, everyone should mine it. Mine it means everyone should get updated to that block. In such cases, we'll go for mine. You got it. Yeah. Any modification or any updations need to be done. Everyone should accept it because everyone will maintain the same copy. Every period will maintain the same copy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think this is the blockchain. Then we'll go to the hyperledger. If you have any doubts, please uh, let me know. Then I'll I'll go to the hyperledger. Yeah, definitely. See, if you are changing something, its nonce value will getting changed. Nonce will be everything. Uh, non yes, every nonce will getting changed because if we should find a, a difficult target value, a cryptographical algorithm for generating the nonce value. That is called as a target, uh, difficult target value in blockchain. Yeah, any other doubts? What is Panda, sir? What you want next in the sense? Next topic. No, I'm not getting you. What is next in the sense? We, uh, no. no, sir. After, sir. Good, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Please. Uh, sir, after mine, sir. Next, what will do, sir? No, after mine, now everyone should accept. Everyone, sir, now here it is there again. We need to change it now. This peer should accept it. Peer no, no, peer C -C peer. You change the peer A, peer B, sir. Next peer C also change. No? No yes, compulsory, compulsory. Okay, okay, okay. See, everyone will have a maintenance. No, everyone will, will maintain the same copy, otherwise, the blockchain will not be accepted. No? Right, 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 sir. Okay, sir. okay, got it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Using pseudo random generators. That's a difficult part, part especially in blockchain. Generating a nonce value whose hash value starts with four zeros. 
generating non non six is not a uh, important one but uh, whose hash value should start with four zeros if you want to increase whose hash values is should be four eight zeros then that is a difficult very difficult target value it, it we need to have a crypto uh, cryptographic algorithm for that yes sir yes sir please yes, if you want to do the mining we have to take permission from uh, is there any chance sir anyone can do the mining sir no 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 one can ma'am only very few members can mine it like your hod is can mine it your principal can mine it not all the people okay, will sir. so there okay, will sir. equal role will be there. i mean some part of the role will be given everyone will okay, have okay okay thank you sir yes Shall I go to the next topic then? If it is uh, no doubts you have, I'll come to you, sir. How miners are selected depending upon your application. Sir, the hash values of peer A, peer B, peer C for block one are same, sir. Is it okay, sir? By changing ten. Yes, uh, definitely. It should be same only. Yeah, yeah. But the other it should be uh, same. Block two should be same of uh, all the peers. Block three should be same. Of, means everyone will maintain a blockchain. that blockchain should be same for all the peers yes sir yes sir right sir yeah mining nodes can be different depending upon the role depending upon the application which you are using for which application you want to take mining notes madam for uh, what is the application then we can tell yeah you can see the changing is not possible in blockchain only update only we can append it i told you change means every the see we are mining it mining in the meaning that everyone should accept it for that every peer will not accept no yeah and uh, if that's the case then i'll go I, i'll go to the next topic okay yeah my slides are visible my slides are visible yes sir visible sir now we are going to see i think uh, uh, you have come across ethereum you have studied ethereum Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yesterday, the Ethereum yes. is a permissionless, right? The permissionless, but where where we don't have any control over a blockchain. Only you can create a D app for that, but we don't know how to create uh, for our own specific applications. Only we can create a smart contract. We can create a gas for that. We can create a uh, D apps for our applications where the, we, we everything we need to send it to the uh, Ethereum um, uh, in, in uh, Ethereum architecture. and we don't have any control where the ethereum will take care of everything so if i want to create a robust application for my applications so then definitely we re we require a permission blockchain system where a group of people can use this one right so for that one of the best example one of the widely used open source tool which was um, uh, implemented uh, which is maintained and implemented by the linux foundation and uh, major major of the companies are the part of this hyperledger okay so a hyperledger project was hosted by the linux foundation and it is announced in 2015 which is one of the major advantage with the hyperledger is open source open standard and open governance is there and uh, definitely we, we, because it supports the cross, cross industry uh, blockchain technology and one of the important parameter here we are going to use permission blockchain i think uh, uh, other resource person discussed about permissionless blockchain like ethereum okay right why hyperledger in the sense we, it is making use of previous architecture and it uh, it's driving with more scalability more number of nodes and secure architecture it's built upon secure architecture it is going to have it and it provides better if, uh, privacy and better identity management which is uh, uh, lagging in the current centralized system 
so we can use as a distributed identity management it provides better privacy using the channels using different channels uh, uh, bit, between the organizations we can have it is going to provide a lot of scalability and secure architecture is going to provide it why right? okay and we are having different types of hyperledger uh, um, modules like hyperledger composer is there hyperledger fabric is there hyperledger indie is there hyperledger sawtooth is there hyperledger iora is there so initially uh, uh, actually now outdated composer is outdated now widely used they are using uh, um, hyperledger fabric uh, and the majority of the companies that start working on this uh, hyperledger fabric right and these are the various members of that uh, all the companies if you see different companies are major companies are the accenture six so cisco ibm dtcg sap intel right the major companies which are over the, over the contributor to, contributor to the hyperledger and the general companies these are the general companies who are a part of the hyperledger okay and uh, uh, yeah anyone has installed hyperledger uh, fabric from the participant site Anyone already know Hyperledger? Oh, okay. Now, if that's the case, then installation will will help you. I'm going to use how to use install. You should be very careful. We we need to have either virtual machine or we can install in Ubuntu or in Mac OS, right? We require an operating. These are the prerequisites uh, for installing uh, uh, Hyperledger. We require Ubuntu. Uh, we can start from 14.0 per version. Now currently 18.20 per is there. Uh, we we both uh, we can use the 64 bit Docker engine for creating. Uh, uh, we need, we are we require a Docker engine for uh, uh, for uh, using lightweight uh, multiple. Um, Machines, virtual machines, which we can, we can create it. And uh, Docker Compose, we can use uh, the version 1.8 or higher version. Node file, which is going to use a Node 6.5. Uh, please note that the 7 version is not supported here. Uh, then Node Project Manager, uh, uh, Package Manager, which we can call them as. We can use the version 3.6 or version 5.6. We can use. We can use Git uh, for downloading 2.5 or higher. Python 2.76. And hyper uh, hyperledger composer extensions with the you know, what uh, Visual Studio Code we can use it. These are the some of the prerequisite need to be installed. And uh, this is the first step: sudo apt-get install curl. Uh, we use for a web tool. Curl is a web tool that will have a client. Uh, uh, client is going to browse uh, you, and it's going to connect it to the server through command line. We use uh, sudo apt-get install curl and sudo apt-get install Docker. Is the next step, and then sudo apt-get install Docker Composer is the next step, fourth step, and uh, then we'll upgrade uh, the. Uh, once we get it, we will we'll upgrade the uh, whatever we install. We will get it, and this is a very important statement which we are going to get it. Curl SSL uh, T um, HTTP bash file. If you want uh, 1.1.0 version or 1.4 1.1.4 version or 2.0 version. Like uh, we can use Hyperledger, which you want to install. Okay. Once uh, the hyper, this is a Hyperledger. Uh, this is a, this is a link which we need to be installed. Then once we cloned it, then we'll get a very interesting one called uh, Fab Examples. This is the Fab Examples. In this Fab Examples, the first network you can test it. You can test it the next network. We have a smart code. You see this smart. This is a smart contract. Here in the Hyperledger, we call them as a chain code. Smart contract code is called as a Chain code, and we have seen we can run the application called Fabcar. They have uh, tested it, and once it is uh, installed successfully, we can run it. Then we have uh, we can say that Hyperledger uh, uh, Fabric installed successfully. Once we get it, uh, and then these are the Docker images uh, will be created in the Hyperledger Fabric, like a uh, um, configure file called general crypto generated file. Just now we have seen the crypto generated files like OpenSSL uses ECC. We are called orderer and we'll call peers. All these things will be created in the Hyperledger fabric files. Okay. And you see, we are, uh, you, you, you see, in the previous session, we discussed about uh, the SHA 1 message digest and uh, uh, algorithm is elliptic curve. We use key parameters, key size is 256, uh, SHA 1 fingerprint, public key fingerprint. All these things used by the uh, TLS certificate, which is generated by the Docker image. Just now we have seen that. 
and this is the structure this is the structure of the endo, endo, uh, endorsement structure of the endoser endoser i'll tell you what is that endoser and this is a key the total key which is going to which is created and this is a signature just now we have seen the signature right and this is a uh, link for uh, this is the link for implementation you can uh, download from this link and the steps how to build the network hyperledger network uh, please let me know if you have any doubts before i go to the hyperledger fabric hello It's available to you. It's okay. Then, uh, if, if if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Otherwise, I'll go to the next uh, next talk. Okay. Uh, these are the steps, which is a little bit difficult, but is easy for uh, the people who are do, working on Linux. Otherwise, uh, you need to get certain updates, uh, certain prerequisite will give problems to you. You need to learn, and you can have it. Learn, you can learn new things uh, while installing these things. Okay. Right. Once we get it, then we we'll, we need to explore uh, to the Hyperledger fabric. This is the Hyperledger fabric which we're going to have it. Now that's why it is a very distributed ledger platform. As already told you, it's a uh, hyperledger is itself is a distributed ledger platform. It emphasizes on the distributed ledger, smart contracts, consensus mechanisms, confidentiality, confidentiality, resiliency, and scalability. Right? Uh, hyperledger. Uh, what are the properties which I discussed previously? It supports all distributed ledger, smart contracts, consensus mechanisms, as well as security. Not only security, robustness means the resiliency will be there as well as the scalability will come into the picture. Right. Uh, this is a hyperledger fabric blockchain network. Now, this is a blockchain network which has been created in peer-to-peer -peer way, where you can take it as an example of that in a in a hyperledger fabric network. Right. And uh, this is a simplified one. We now uh, you can take an application. Now, this is a member of one, the member A, and this is a member B, and this is a network operators. In this, who are the members is not, nothing but we call them as a P's. P's are the members. Right in our organization, these are the members, and these fellows are the clients, and this client uh, will be connected to the uh, end user. End user will be connected to the client. Client will be connected to the peer, and then uh, all, the, all these peers will be created by CA, and this uh, this network operator will be maintained by a CA, and these members will be maintained by a CA. For this organization, this CA will generate the keys. For this organization, this CA is going to generate the key. For this organization, this CA is going to generate a key, and then we are going to establish a, a blockchain. Right now, this is a simplified architecture which we could have it. What are the services it is going to provide by Hyperledger? Is membership service. It is a cryptographic primitives. A membership MSP membership service provider will be there where the authentication is going to be provided. Auditing can be done. Public key infrastructure can be provided, and then identification is going to be provided. Right? These are the a membership service it is going to provide. Whereas blockchain services are. P2P protocol, distributed ledger, transactions will be created, uh, ledger storage can be happened, and then consensus uh, protocols can be happened for validation, and then blockchain is going to be created. So these are the blockchain services. And then smart code uh, services or chain code, smart contract or chain code services will be like a secure container will be there in the form of Docker, and then secure registry will be stored where every transaction will be entered into the chain code, and chain code will what is what the chain code will do will verify will validate it will identify it if you have any doubts with regarding these two slides please let me know why you will get error okay now you can go back and you can see uh, you will get it now now you got it Got it. You can do that, and you can see, and you can go to the links. Uh, any doubts regarding those two slides?
Loki. Yeah, thank you. Now, once we know that the one, once we know the services provided here, then we need to have we we need to have hyperledger fabric where it will store multiple formats. That's a very very advantage. It is have a suitable consensus mechanisms where you can do a lot of research work and you can contribute to the hyperledger. We, if you are studying distributed computing, you can. It's a, it now offers the ability to create a channel. Now the, there the privacy will come into the picture. Suppose for example there are ten organizations are there. Now ten uh, suppose for example your ninety participants are there or hundred participants are there. Hundred participants are coming uh, all over the country. Right, you are working in one institutions, and you are contacting to JNTU, and JNTU is contacting to the uh, AACT. Now, what is that? I am going to create a channel from each and every institution is going to contact to the JNTU, and JNTU is going to connect it to the ATL, uh, ATL people. So there will be a common. Say now, JNTU people confidential send the information uh, to the uh, to the ATL people, right? So that no other people will come to know that. Like this, we can create a channel from one organization to another organization, and from the members also we can create it. So therefore, it will allow the group of people to create a separate ledger of transaction, or you can create to the group of people, or you can create separately to the set of people, right? To the, all the members, or only part of the members. And the first one is the membership service provider, which is a very very important. Just now, from the morning, whatever we discuss, it is comes under this category. The membership service provider is a permission. A new member should enroll to this service. If anyone want, if you want, suppose for example, if you are attending this FDP, what is the first step? Is you need to fill the Google form. Assume if you need to go to Google Forms, you should register. Once you the registration is happening, then uh, uh, the, uh, the the coordinators will verify whether you are the faculty or whether you are authenticated, whether you are working somewhere, all right? Uh, whether you are related uh, uh, in this area, everything validation will be done. Verification will be done. Once the verification is done, then you will get a confirmation mail. So what, what is that? Any new member of the network, what is going to happen in the sense will enroll through a membership service provider. Okay. So that's a point. How this membership service provider in the sense there will be CA. We call them as a root CA. Root CA will maintain intermediate CAs who is going to work under root CA. In the in the in the intermediate CA, we are having a register authority. He will generate a register certificate, right? And once the registration certificate is going to happen, then it will come to the enrollment certificate. Enrollment certificate authority will verify. Uh, uh, we will verify the, whether he has been registered or not. If he is registered, suppose for example, I'll give an example to you. Uh, uh, the coordinator is there. Now, coordinator, what uh, she can't do everything. Madam cannot do everything. Now he will take help of the other faculty members. Now what is that? Uh, there will be one group of people. They will register. Once the register is happening, and then that information will go to the coordinator. Coordinator will see whether first is he, he has been registered or not, or she has been registered or not. If she has been verified, then he will see will sell the E certificate. We call them as enrollment certificate. Means registration is happened, enrollment is confirmed. Enroll is confirmed in the sense. Then we'll go. We'll try to see TLS certificate. TLS certificate means all the members of the group, not only you. All the members will come to know that you have been registered. Like not not only you, all the members of the network will be known. Therefore, with the help of the TLS certificate, will be there. And then finally, you have been authorized to ask the questions to the coordinator. To you, are, you have been uh, authorized to ask the questions to the faculty, or you are authorized to ask the questions to the any resource person. That we call them as what transaction certificate. So. Uh, the membership services will provide four types of certificates. One is the R certificate, registration certificate, enrollment certificate, transaction certificate. You are uh, you are eligible to sign the certificate, and you are eligible uh, to uh, you, your signed trans certificates will be viewed in a network so that uh, no other person can tamper it. Okay. Any doubts here in this uh, slide? The next step is now what is happening here. You see registration and enrollment using membership service provider here. We are, we are going to have in a proper ledger. Everyone will have a role. As a few participants ask the question, no, who is the responsible person? Now uh, we are going to have someone as an auditor. 
orderer is nothing but he is going to create all the he is going to take all the transactions and he will create the order sequence orderer we and he, this orderer will collect all the transactions and he will create a block and then he will send for further validation right and uh, then the uh, the endorsers the endorsers are the members who is going to verify the uh, the client uh, client information which is going to happen the, these are the main persons where you will maintain endorsers we you will they will see whether rules have been executed whether they have been followed the rules and regulations whether the chain code is created whether they have, have created they are they are uh, they are eligible to send a certificate to send this transaction all these things endorser peer will is good means everyone the orderer peer is different endorser peer is different issuer is different client is different verification company is different so everyone will send to to his local database see uh, he will store and uh, ca will verify this local database and transaction certificate is maintain his own database and tls certificate is going to maintain his own database then we are going to see this certificate authorities as well as in blockchain right this is the certificate authority in blockchain how it is happening in the sense everyone should be registered to the membership service not only the company now for example all the endorsers peers need to be there ordering services need to be registered to the membership service no one is exempted everyone should be registered into the blockchain network and all this information will be stored in the consensus in the consensus block sorry genesis block right and all the members for example this is smart contract or chain code we call them as right uh, for example i'll i'll take as a case study here education institution uh, to eradicate the fake certificates assume that now for that we have created a education certificate here the education certificate here the education certificate will, will be there recipient or the students issuers are the faculty uh, uh, maybe some authority and the verification companies are the outside companies where the student is will give the certificate all will be the part of the blockchain they will be we, we, the chain code will be there which call them as a smart contract he will be the issuer uh, user and uh, verify registration issuer user and verify authentication and integrity of the certificate all these things will enter into the blockchain network whenever some request will come first chain work will be invoked and then it will verify the authentication it will verify the registration it will verify the integrity and then it will enter into the blockchain only right how it will uh, any doubts sir in that slide any doubt is there no okay madam what is your uh, no namrata uh, what is your doubt i am not getting you can unmute and you can ask me madam you can unmute and you can ask me i am not getting your verification process in the sense sir how the verification process See, is done how the verification suppose mm -hmm. i have issued a I, Yeah, I, and what's the meaning of that? Yeah, I issued a transaction. Now, how you will verify with my public only? You will verify, no? That public key you are going to get from the blockchain. Yes, Then only sir. verification and validation will be. So, without my public okay. key, you cannot verify okay. my transaction. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, this is the steps which we are going to use in blockchain, lah. now we we do have assume that uh, the user is going to have now first what the user a will do is sense is this is a certificate authority we call them as msp and this is a blockchain right and through sdk through sdk right through uh, we we are, we, we are going to use uh, uh, a, a sdk me 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 mechanism here now client user a what is that he uses he request for the certificate and sdk will issue the certificate to him and that certificate will be signed by the trusted authority he will sign and he will encrypt this transaction and it will be stored into the uh, user a client system the user a system will make use of sdk right uh, what is sdk stands for anyone anyone what is sdk stands software development yeah yeah software development it, it's uh, it's uh, um, through that it is going to to the blockchain right uh, right client application is going to link with the uh, blockchain 
and uh, see this is the user a and user b is also what is going to happen now user b you see here user a is submitted his transaction user b can verify the transaction how he will verify the transaction compulsory he should request the blockchain blockchain will ask the will ask the certificate authority now someone is requesting the public key of the user a and then if he if he is already registered only the registered user only he will get the public key of the user a once he will get the public key of the user a he will verify and he will decrypt the transaction so that's why in this way the certificate authority and the blockchain is going to work it and and the next step is the shared ledger we are going to use it in the shared ledger we are going to have two types of states one is the whole state another one is transaction log uh, transaction log we have so because whatever the transaction which has been created it will be on top of the whole state it will not be committed into the blockchain state so once everyone is validated once everyone is verified then that whole state will be converted into a committed state and once it is committed it will be stored into the blockchain so therefore it it describes the state of the ledger at given any given point of time then uh, our uh, log is going to be validation Trans uh, we are going to record all the transactions from the current state of the only updated history will be maintained okay we are using a database key value store uh, like oh db or mango db mongo db we are going to use it okay then uh, how do i control privacy because we are going to use one of the major concept which we are going to use it suppose for example i'll give an example to you uh, if you go back or uh, uh, yeah i'll go back to the previous slide here uh, i'll go back yeah this is one organization we have this is one organization we have and this is another organization we have assume that and this is another organization we have now the channel is created between these two organization the channel is between these now whatever the operation it can be happen only between these two this fellow doesn't know it and whatever the operation is going to happen between these two it can be so in this way we can ensure the privacy between the organizations and then if i want to establish a connection between these two also it can be happen so like department to department can be happen or the institution to institution can happen or member to member can be happen yes any i think some disturbances is there now this is a shared slide then then we are going to use the privacy we have the support the network with the privacy where we can use between the channels the solution is the only between the channels only we are going to use it right this is a, a using the channels which we are going to have it okay now how to run uh, the distributed apps on the on top of the hyperledger right how to run the distributed apps the app on the hyperledger now this is a way where we can have it now this is a user a and this is a user a user a and user b and the, we have a back end api or client sdk and these are the uh, api and uh, now once the registration is happened from this msb all the keys the public key and private key is going to store the public key and private key is going to store and once we are using some open ssl mechanism and then when whenever it is happened now, oh, now now what is that user is going to send a transaction sign transaction to the end user and user uh, this user is going to send to the transaction to the end user uh, end user again end user what he will do he will he will send to the he will he will send he
there is a technical glitch from uh, Suresh sir side please wait for a minute sir will rejoin for the session again I'm audible. Yes, I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry for the inconvenience. I lost the power. Um, power. Uh, uh, just I started with my mobile. <laughs> this is a problem with the technology. <laughs> sorry, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, my screen is visible. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. What, the, what is happening here? Yes, yeah, sir. user is going to send to the endorser. Endorser will send to the MSB after verification of that, and then the endorser will send back to the user, and user is going to send to the peer. Right? To the peer, and then peer is going to send it to the blockchain. These are the peers uh, in the morning session we have seen. Peer A, peer B, peer C, and peer C. They're maintaining the ordering service. How it is going to happen in this, we'll see step by step. All right? Let me make an assumption that there is an organization one, organization two, organization three. Right? There are multiple organizations. Right? Organization one, organization two, organization three. Now, this is the organization three organizations we have. And then this is a user interface. This is a user interface of uh, this is a user interface of organization one. User interface of organization two, user interface of organization three, and then, and then through REST API is going to uh, this user interface is going to connect through the REST API to the client application. We in the call them as a Node.js or JavaScript something. We call them as what? And then this is the the, the, node, the client application and this is a client application, and then they're going to store into the key, right? And this is a hyperledger fabric P. This is a hyperledger fabric P. And this is a hyperledger fabric pin. And this is a hyperledger fabric pin. And this is the ordering service. All this is the ordering service. Ordering service is a separate channel. Ordering is, a, is going to connect to the separate channel. Right? And then, once the fa fabric is connected, then we have a two types of containers. One is peer container, we call them as a ledger. And OHDB container, we call them as a old state. Once the data, first the data will go to the uh, OCH container and then that OCH container will go to the peer container, which is going to connect it, which will be sent back to the peer container. Once it is validated, once it is verified, and then it will enter into the block and it is creating a blockchain. Right? This is a, this is a way which is going to be done. Right? This is a fabric peer. And this is a chain code. This is a chain code which is called as a smart contract. Every time, every time a transaction is executed, it will enter into the chain code, chain code will validate it, chain code will identify it, chain code will uh, authenticate it, and then it will enter, in, uh, then only it will be processed. So this is called as a chain code, which is called as a, a, a piece of code, smart code, a smart contract code, which is running on each and every transaction. And then we are going to have a Fab CA, we call them as a Fabric CA, uh, who is going to connect it to the external CA. This Fab CA will maintain all the cryptographic credentials, so what we have discussed. Okay, this is the Fab CA. And this is the ordering service which we are going to have it. The ordering service is responsible for depriving the order in which the transactions coming from uh, all the participants. We are, we are going to perform called Jokeeper uh, mechanism like Kafka cluster based. Uh, they, they use to perform the consensus mechanism to provide high, high availability as well as the throughput. Right? This is the ordering service which is going to happen. 
Once the ordering service is happening, and then we are going to store component into the block. If you have any doubts, please let me know, sir. Case, then we'll try to see the transaction flow how it is happening in uh, blockchain right now first we'll try to execute it then after executing by the endorser page it will go to the orderer and orderer after collecting all the things and uh, creating a block it will be validated and then it will be stored into the persistent storage it is going to store into the persistent storage okay see how it is happening in the sense the order the, the, the client application is going to create and propose a transaction that the transaction will be sent to the endorsers, endorser not, endorser one, endorser two, endorser three, right? And then uh, we, we we call them as endorsers, endo, 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 and then we, we we are using peers, peer, peer one, peer two, peer three, and so on. We call them as other, uh, part of that. This is the ordering service. Now, once it is happening, proposing a transaction, the tra execute the transaction at the proposer level. The please mute it, please mute it. Endorsers will execute the transaction which has been received from the client, right? He will be processed along with the chain code, right? He will be, uh, uh, and then once it is that, it will be sent back to the, it will be sent back the response in the form of endorsement policy or endo endorsement. Yes, this fellow is a valid person. This fellow has signed the tra signed transaction, and the client has been uh, been collected from all the endorsers. Uh, for, uh, the client will conduct uh, will 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 verify all the endorsement endorsers which has been sent from the different vendor uh, endorsers and uh, then oh, he will send to the order he will send the order order will collect all the transactions he will group into a block and send for the further for, for further validations right this is the order ordering the transaction and then we are going to deliver that transaction to all the peers as well as to the endorsers and endorsers will validate because they have already previously endorsed it. They are the people who have been endorsed it, right? They have been they have been endorsed it. Once it has been endorsed it, and then we are going to store. They are going to validate. Yes, this can be entered into the chain. Yes, this can be entered into the chain. This can be entered into the blockchain, right? This is the validating of the transaction, right? And then the notification will be sent back once it has been committed. The notification will be sent back to the client that it has been successfully committed and it uh, it, it, uh, it has been stored into the blockchain and the notification will be sent back to the uh, blockchain. This is the final step, final step of the uh, blockchain. So this is the way where we have, we have uh, uh, used uh, Hyperledger Fabric uh, uh, for creating any blockchain network. If you have any doubts, please let me know. Then actually, I'll take one use case study. Uh, time is there. Um, um, time is. Uh, I, shall I take a five five minutes time or? Uh, uh, sir, we can continue up to one thirty, sir. One thirty. Uh, it's not required. Just uh, uh, okay. Uh, if hands on is required, uh, hands on. I think Piperledger. No one is installed. Uh, I'll this one. Uh, if. Uh, yeah, one third. Okay, what well, the time is? There. Then I'll I'll take this case study. Then I'll explain step by step to you. Right now, what we are going to do? What we are going to do is we are going to create a channel here. We are going to create a channel, and these are the members. These are the members: member one, member two, member three, member four, which we can create it. And this is a channel. This is ordering service. These are the endorsers. These are the normal piece, and these are the anchoring piece. Now, what is that here? Actually, my, the use case here is here, how to eradicate, uh, how to create. See, uh, now, what, what is the problem, especially the students are facing is uh, proper verification. Once they leave the institution, suppose if you take uh, uh, the deemed universities, you, you take a, a professional lovely, um, 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 lovely professional university, or you take a VIT, or you take SRM, 
or you, you can take Githam University or you can take uh, uh, Kale University or you can take uh, JNTU uh, Anandapuram or you can take JNTU um, uh, Kaginada or you can take JNTU uh, Hyderabad which are the universities where a huge number of people will be uh, coming out every year. Now, once the students are going out and uh, the, the, uh, then they will, submit, they will submit the certificates into the, uh, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in their company where they join. And the company people, they will do some cross-checking, isn't it? Then they will send a representation uh, to the universities. And university officials, uh, because due to their busy work, university officials, uh, it, it may delay. Due to that, the student is going to suffer. So the application should be solvable without, uh, without, without the university administration. The verification should be smoother and should be very easier. So we have created a one use case called how to, uh, how to efficiently issue the certificates and how to verify very easily. So here what is happening in the sense, uh, we have, a, we have we'll create an acad academic certificate and that academic certificate we are going to generate it and then we are going to use the chain code. The chain code will enter into the transaction and then we are going to check the uh, blockchain. And then we are going to create a transaction su 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 successfully. And then the final certificate will be digitally signed by the issuer. And then the digital certificate, uh, academic certificate will be given to the student. Then this student can submit uh, uh, to anyone. Okay. That the, then uh, what is the verifier will do? He will get the signed certificate, the signed academic certificate. He will unsign it using his private key and he will extract the certificate. He will calculate the hash and he will, he will check the verification function from the blockchain. This calculated hash and verifying the function should be same and he will publish. Yes, the uh, verify will say that yes, he is an authenticated person and then he, is, uh, he completed the degree from our university. This is a code where we can use it. This is a code where we can use it. Right. And then this uh, for that, uh, uh, actually, my student has completed uh, uh, four or five projects. Then we can see here how to generate a uh, generate code. It will be there. First, it will be generated. It will take a lot of stuff for executing. First one. Then next one is uh, it will generate the private key. This is a private key. And this private key need to be stored uh, into the Docker Composer need to be stored docker in the in the docker computer for signing the signature and then for the docker then uh, we are going to start the uh, blockchain we are going to uh, start the blockchain network we are upping then we the net, uh, blockchain network will be initiated here the the the, the, blo the, the block the blockchain network will be initiated here and then uh, automatically the blockchain network is uh, up now we are, we, are, we are creating. Now once the blockchain network is there, then what we are going to do, we are going to see who are the members of the peer. Now you see, there, there is an organization here, peer organization example, order example, CA example, command line interface, all these are the members of the Docker. Virtual machines, right? The total information will be stored here. And this is the network information. We can inspect the Docker network uh, client. These are the, this is the name of that, uh, this ID, identity management, which has been created. And then these are, we can see created MAC address. We can see IP address. We can see all the peer address. We can see in which organization has been created. So total information we can see of each and every peer. Whose ID number will be there and MAC address will be there. IPv4 address will be there. Every information will be stored here. Okay, these are the network address which we can see. Then once we network is up, then we, we need to create a front end, front end with a node.js server, node server, node, if you see no, node server.js, then uh, you are running a port called 7002. Once we get it uh, 7002, then we are going to see local host 7002 my issuer. When, when the, the, then in the, in the URL you'll get it, then we'll, we'll try to create, we'll try to create a role number, we'll try to create a unique number, we'll try to create a grade to him, we'll try to create a subject, and then we'll click on the issue certificate. 
then issue this this issue certificate will be will be, will have a safe file which is called as an encrypted json format file a e j e j f file which has been encrypted in the in any uh, encrypted file and then we'll will try to create okay once if the file is created and then we can verify whether uh, see this is a verification process uh, where, where the verifier can do uh, node js uh, query dot js. So this is a roll number. This is a subject code, and then this is a hash value which has been created, and the result is one. Suppose if I change something, right? If I change something, uh, your hash value is C. This hash value is failed. The student is not available. If hash value is matched, then this successfully the yes student credentials are there in our database. The students are the uh, uh, is authenticated person, and the certificate was issued by our institution. We can get the transaction this is a transaction failed and this is a transaction is passed uh, if you have any doubts please let me know there before i conclude it Now uh, the only thing is hyperledger. Yes, yes, yes. We, through virtual machine, you can create a uh, through virtual through uh, virtual machine. You can have it or Linux. It's recommendable. You can install Linux and you can work it out on that. You have any doubts? Okay. If the such case, then I'll with, uh, with the blockchain and the hyper. hyper I can show you hyperledger hands-on, but uh, it will uh, again. I should uh, uh, shift it to this one. So therefore, we are uh, we are moved towards the centralized decentralized thing. When we talk about blockchain, when we talk about IoT, when we talk about for computing, all are decentralized and distributed system. Right? Blockchain allows sophisticated contracts, which will be used for many applications. You can use n number of applications, as I already told you in the first day of the session. Blockchain will disturb many industries. They started working on blockchain as one of the cybersecurity into the consideration, right? And uh, um, uh, opportunity for many startups, uh, venture capitalists, as well as researchers. A uh, lot of work is going to happen, right? Uh, thank you uh, uh, for for you um, for uh, listening me almost three hours uh, uh, in this session. Uh, uh, if you have any doubts, if you have any queries, and uh, uh, if you, um, uh, please let me know. No, actually, through the different dockers, dockers will pay. Venkatraman sir, we have a docker concept. No, we use the dockers is a lightweighted mechanism which we are going to have it. So through dockers only, the, the, the different peers is going to work, and every will pay, pay every peer will maintain a distributed ledger. Jyoti madam, okay, one minute. Can we assign this verification of the certificates as a Project to the UG should yes, you can absolutely. There is no problem. No other doubts? Sir, I have doubts, sir. Yeah, please, sir.
sir we are going to the hospital and we go for surgery uh, yes sir sir yes so in that one uh, they are doing in proper way or not so is it possible to uh, store yeah, the blockchain can be created yeah blockchain can yes, be created for healthcare blockchain can be created for el electronic health records right oh, one of my pro student project he completed blockchain on health records only Okay, for surgery operation also we can implement sir yes 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 okay sir okay yes sir i'll send the ppt uh, for first day and today's ppt i'll send to you but uh, the only thing is because uh, the uh, few uh, diagrams and all these things are under consideration Uh, don't uh, misuse those th th those things if I'm giving slide because previously I I have given lot of slides and what the people are using they're misusing that uh, being a faculty see I'm not I'm not telling that the slides are available in the internet and uh, the uh, almost all the slides are taken from the internet and I have created certain things only is little bit to what we the expect is uh, see from where you need to you, you are going to take it uh, I'm going to use it please if you are using somewhere you can keep uh, you can cite it. or you can from where the source is coming right uh, so that uh, it uh, we will try to maintain lot of uh, ethical things there sir i have one more doubt sir please sir Sir, now Telangana government released it for the land regulation scheme, ma'am. Sir, for all can, land regulation. Yes, absolutely, we can apply blockchain there. Oh, oh, they applied blockchain only, sir. Okay. No, we we can apply blockchain. I think they started working on working on blockchain for land. Oh, but they are not implemented now, okay, sir. No, it is an initial stage. No, a lot of work need to be done there. <laughs> Take help of one company and they are working on that. And e voting system, IIT, IIT Madras. Uh, already, the government of India has given. Uh, on election election commission they are working with iit madras they are creating a blockchain technology for e voting okay sir okay thank you sir participants if you have any questions you can ask or otherwise we can close up wind up this session so Thank you so much, sir. Uh, on behalf of the Chhatrapati Commander, I must thank you very much for accepting our request and being part of this program. We are very glad having you in this session, and uh, we hope all participants are benefited uh, out of the sessions which we are delivering from the first session and but today two sessions as well. It's very informative, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for being part of this and sparing your time in spite of your busy schedule as well. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Garu. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I personally thank uh, um, the coordinator, especially um, Professor Shob uh, Shobhamindu Madam, and uh, the, all the coordinators. And I thank all the uh, participants who bear me uh, almost uh, five hours, uh, uh, right, uh, listening my class uh, because in this pandemic situation, sitting continuously for three hours is very difficult. I know it. uh but i thank each and every participant uh, who uh, put lot of effort uh, in doing hands on also uh, right you try to do it if you if you are having any doubt please let me know right thank you very much thank you once again thank you very much thank you so much already i given my my lady i think you can uh, Thank you sir thank you so much yeah thank you thank you very much sir thank you thank you one and all